Jason Miller with a book review of the All American Boys. The first question that we're going to start off with, or my first personal opinion on this, is should it have won an award? I think it should have. I mean, there's a lot of topics that are discussed in this book that are still very relevant to this day. And I think that it's important that um, uh, even if you don't face these problems in your life, but maybe just to read it to appreciate what some people go through through a daily basis. I thought it had an overline, really good message, and I think it does deserve the award that it was um, given. The second question is, uh, you personally, what is your personal reaction to this book and how can you make connections to it? So um, my first reaction to this book was like, I didn't know what it was gonna be about. I just picked it up, started reading it. And uh, the first scene kind of got me off guard. Well, not the first scene, but like, I just started going into it and he went to the gas station. Like I didn't, I was so confused what this book was gonna be about. Cause it started off as like the RT, uh, RT, RT C or whatever, like the military program. And I thought it was just gonna be about like this dude growing up and going into the military maybe but it turned out to be like this whole story about how black lives matter and how uh rash was uh, beaten by a cop named paul and how it, it became this big thing and uprise and it was hashtag there was like a hashtag um about rash and how the footage of him being beaten for no reason even though like he just bumped into this random old lady which she was like even trying to like help him out or like say it was my fault because the lady ran into him and then the whole thing started and the cops started beating him and all that so it really wasn't Rash's fault my reaction to this book was just all around great because there was never a dull moment in the book I was always waiting to see what was going to happen and I really appreciated that but also like I made connections to like even now because on um, just like I think it was like yesterday or a couple of days ago there was uh, an African-American man that was killed by like a couple like five cops it was like this one cop that was just like kneeing on him and he passed away and now like right now a lot of people are are bringing the up the fact that black lives matter and all this because it was an african-american man that was killed by a cop and it's basically what this book is about except for it was an african-american child who was beaten by a cop but it's still very relevant in today and i think it's i think it's very important to read this book okay so the next thing is um, I'm going to just share some quotes that I thought were really good about this book. Uh, the first one is, if you are neutral in situations or of, or judge, uh, let me restart that. If you are neutral in situations of justice, you have chose the side of the officer. That was by Jason. It's important because it tells you that you can't, in these situations when there's such a big impact in the world and the community, you can't be neutral. You have to you have to stand out, you have to be brave, you have to say what side you are, and you have to help those that need help. You just can't sit on the sidelines, because if we keep sitting on the sidelines, nothing will change and everything will be the same. The second quote that I thought was really important is, history can only teach its lesson if it is remembered. So if we don't remember what the lesson was, we're just going to repeat the problem. So if we learn about what's happening in today's world, then maybe 20 years from now, we won't ever have to worry about this. If we keep teaching people about uh, how equality and how we should love everyone, then we won't have these big problems anymore. We won't have uh, police brutality and just other people's and shootings and all that. It's important that we learn and we grow from these mistakes and all that. Also, uh, the third quote, had our hearts really become so numb that we need dead bodies in order to feel the beat of compassion in our chest? Who am I? if I need to be shocked back into my best self. So I thought that was really important because it's police or like um, cops abusing um, just people randomly is something that is, is, is not new, but like, for instance, like the thing that happened two days ago, um, the man died. I'm sure that story wouldn't have been, I'm sure it wouldn't have been like covered as loudly as it is now if he didn't die. So it's in today's world, only the best news well the best news really makes it so like in order to like for it to be like really up there like the fact that this quote is saying is like dead body so it shouldn't get to that point we should we should be on top of everything and it shouldn't be we shouldn't bring it to our attention only because a life died we should bring it to our attention 
just because a life is being ruined by this, okay? So, like, after, I mean, people are getting beaten up, and it's not right, and it's, it's not just affecting their physical health, it's their mental health, because now they're scared about, like, just walking around the streets and all that, and that's just not a thing that's, would be very good or appropriate for this story and just life in general. Okay, so now the last thing is, um, how can you connect this to our current culture? Kind of what I've been saying before and previous, uh, before there was an African American man that was killed actually like two days ago or something like that uh, by a white cop. And the, again, like this story is all about that. So like, this is so, this is so like our time right now. Like this isn't like some historical book. This isn't stuff like the 19, like 30s or 40s or 50s. This is like 2000, 2010, maybe 2030. I mean, I think it's such an important book. And if you read this, you realize that this stuff happens all the time. Maybe not to the degree, but like um, Black Lives Matters and all that, like African-Americans do suffer uh, from police brutality more than me or any other like white people. And it is a thing. And um, it's so easy to, to just connect this to modern day because I think it is written like maybe not 2020, but like, I think it was so little past, like 2015 it says, um, but that's, the stuff is still happening. I think it's really changed drastically where this book is irrelevant and the story is just useless. It's, it's story is very good and the message is very clear and something that I think people should really read. So this is my final book uh, review of All American Boys. I think it's amazing book. I think a lot of people should read it. Great message. A lot to learn from it, a lot to connect from just today's world. Um, great read. Overall, just amazing. Thank you. Okay, so I read the book All American Boys. I really like this book. One of my favorite books by far. It's a very powerful book too, but just some, and I would recommend it to everybody, um, but just some information about this book. It actually won an award. And this award was called the Coretta Scott King Honor Award. And basically what that award was, was it was named for Coretta Scott King, wife of Martin Luther King Jr. This award recognizes recognizes outstanding books for young adults and children by African Americans that reflect the African American experience. Um, awards are given both to authors and illustrators. Um, the first author award was given in 1970. So yeah, this book um, achieved that award. Um, and does this book uh, deserve it? It most definitely does. This is by far one of my favorite books. And I feel like, yeah, it's just an amazing book and it definitely deserves this award that it got so my reaction to reading this book I was I guess you could say surprised very surprised actually because of how the way people treated others from back then to now I I just wouldn't know what to do if I saw somebody doing something like that or hurting somebody just because of what they look like i just wouldn't um so one of my favorite books favorite books one of the, my favorite parts in this book was probably when he was in the hospital after he got hurt and all his his parents were criticizing him, asking him a bunch of questions, and he, he was so hurt, and he was so traumatized, and the fact that it made no sense to his parents, because he didn't do anything wrong, and he did what his, he did what his dad told him to in situations like that, um, involving, like, a cop or bad situ just bad situations period um but yeah that was probably my favorite part 
of the book, to be honest. Um, and in this book, this book is basically based off of the author. And I just feel very bad that he had to go through stuff that happened in this book and how racist some people are. And yeah, overall, I just feel very bad for him. Um, but yeah, um, I really like this book. I would suggest it to anybody who's looking for a book. And thank you. All right, so um, I'm, I'm talking about this book, All American Boys, and my favorite part in it was when he was in the hospital, and he had to deal with his his parents just questioning him and questioning him, like, we don't believe that you did this, but we think you did. So he really had to, like, tell them what happened, and I know it can get annoying when your parents just keep asking you questions and questions, and especially since he was injured, too, at the time, I feel like he was getting annoyed and couldn't really or didn't really want to answer questions because he was had like bruised ribs and stuff like that so uh that is one of my favorite parts in this book so uh this book did deserve deserve the award it was very um well put together and it really showed showed it deserved the award uh my personal reaction to this book I thought it was an all-around good book, and how I can make connections to this is um, uh, your parents expecting something out of you, but you know you're never you're not always gonna um, get up to their expectations, and I don't know. That's just a rule of life. <laughs>